Hello friends, welcome to ELS English Literature Studies with Core Herfrey. Today I am here with Thomas Brown, who is an author of varied works, and the, his works reveal his learning in diverse fields, such as we can say uh, in the field of science, religion, and medicine also. And his writings also display a deep curiosity towards the natural world. So let us start with Thomas Brown, whose time period is 1605 to 1682. He was a physician who lived through the civil wars but it is very clear through his works that he remained entirely affect, unaffected by these civil wars right he earned, earned his master's degree at oxford in 1629 he studied medicine in france and italy and finally he uh, he did his md in holland as a young doctor in yorkshire he composed religio medici Uh, also known as the religion of a doctor and uh, this is the work to, uh, because of which he became a european uh, best seller and brought um, its author fame at home and at world also right brown is widely considered as one of the most original writers in the english literature because because of his freshness because of his ingenuity of mind by profession he was a doctor but he was a strange amalgam of scientist scholar and mystic person also he believed in astrology alchemy and other superstitions right and uh, if we um, talk about him as a great prose writer yes he was a great prose writer of the century uh, who exhibits the same qualities of profound learning quietness uh, great meditation and quiet humor but has a added charm of his own style which has no parallel in english now i will discuss about his uh, six uh, famous works he produced six works religio medici Pseudodoxia, Hydrotherapia, The Garden of Cyrus, A Letter to a Friend, and Christian Morals. So let us start with Religio Medici. That was published in sixteen hundred forty-two. And uh, another name is the Religion of a Doctor. It was published in sixteen hundred forty-two. It achieved continental fame, as I have already uh, told. It became a European bestseller, and uh, it brought fame to um, Thomas Brown. Uh, it was translated into several languages. right and um, brown we can say it is an uh, brown's work is an analysis of his experiences in religion and thought in relationship to his profession as a medical doctor it, through this work he explored such topics as the relations of reason and faith reason and science nature as god's art and he wrote the book with the aim of defending himself from the traditional charge that doctor was atheist His confession of faith really reveals him as a scientist who is also a devout Christian. He was conscious of the limits of reason and uh, uh, restricts the use of reason to known essentials of religion. In the middle of furious religious controversies of the time, and uh, among religious books and pamphlets, it was the one book that treated religion in a gentle, tolerant, and human way. And this book is still popular for Brown's intelligent orthodoxy. Uh, which reflects the mind of the enlightenment in all ages that is why it uh, achieved we can say continental fame second is pseudodoxy epidemic or vulgar errors it is an attempt to correct the common errors and superstitions of his age and it comprises seven books it was appeared in um, 1646 and it attempted to correct the common errors in the fields of mineral and vegetables bodies animals and uh, misrepresentations in pictures all that for example Uh, geography and history it is a discursive account of the errors and superstitions not only of the vulgar but also of the learned and it also became a valuable source of information it was so valuable that we can see it uh, in um, if, uh, on the shelves of each and every house of his century it was so popular it was a, such a valuable source of information right third is hydrotherapy or unburial which is a demonstration of his enormous memory and in tense interests in humanity's beliefs habits and hopes etc it is one of the greatest essays in english literature we can say and uh, uh, this displays a combination of education and sensibility of the 17th century this book we can say this book is inspired from the discovery of some urns in the neighborhood and it starts with the discussion of the various ancient modes of burial leading to meditation on brown's favorite subject death and oblivion and uh, we can also say that this work is the best example uh, of uh, his style that remains unsurpassed for its verbal music in english prose literature right 
next is the garden of cyrus which considers the mysterious order to be found in nature and uh, we can also in other words we can also say it is an example of uh, brown's mysticism it deals with arrangement in fives like the five play cards and uh, brown became fascinated in number 5 which acquires um, a mystic significance for him and this book was simply an occasion for displaying authors vast learning and it provided a good illustration of humorous quaintness of the 17th century through this book the garden of cyrus he um, he provides good illustrations of humorous quaintness of 17th century next is a letter to a friend and christian morales mm, these two works a letter to a friend and christian morales these two words are interconnected as uh, some of the passages are common to both these were, that is why i am saying these are interconnected and these works were published after brown and um, these are not corrected by him because it was published after his death and the letter starts with the description of tb patient which details of the change uh, wrought by approaching death passes to thoughts and feelings of the dying man and ends with moral reflections the christian morals have been uh, depreciated by some modern critics who think they are above christians and other morals and these two books reflect thomas brown as a preacher right he he reflects himself as a preacher he wants to preach uh, something through these two uh, uh, books and uh, they have common passages that that is why these books are interconnected and uh, these are all about um, brown's famous works who was uh, conscious and deliberate stylist and the balance and rhythm of his sentences gives to his prose a poetic quality that is why he is known as a great prose writer of his century right and uh, it has no parallel in english uh, prose in quaintness of his melancholic mysticism archaic diction and far fetched learning we can say his style is a model for musical prose he was interested in the beauty of words in their sound their form and the image that they raised so friends this is about thomas brown i hope you will like the content and if you like it please hit the like button share and subscribe my channel and if you are new to my channel please hit the bell button so that you can get notifications for my upcoming videos and you can also follow me on my facebook page that, um, uh, that is given in the um, description box and thanks a lot for watching